change the name of the variable. Once you have copy pasted all three columns, you have all the information that you need for your analysis. You do not need the other values in the entire data set. The one thing you may notice is some of the countries have missing values. There is a straightforward way to deal with this. The easiest way to deal with this is by applying filters. You can do this by highlighting the entire tab and hitting the filter button. You can then sort the column by ascending order. Now as you scroll down, you will see that all the countries with missing values are listed at the bottom. For our purposes, we can simply get rid of these countries. So simply highlight the rows where there are missing values and delete. Now, if you recall, the conflict data has been coded at four different levels. We only need the conflict variable to be either 0 or 1 zero for low levels of conflict and one for high levels of conflict. As mentioned earlier, we will consider zero and one as low levels and give them a value of zero. Threes and fours can be turned into ones. If we sort the internal conflict column into ascending, then we can locate the ones in there and turn them into zeros. Similarly, we can now locate the 2s and the 3s and give them a value of 1. We now turn to the last step of our analysis. We create a simple 2x2 two two table where the dependent variable is in the columns and the independent variable is in the rows. The dependent variable being high levels of conflict and low levels of conflict in a country and the independent variable being the regime status whether a country is democratic or non-democratic. We can now begin to assess the relationship between these two variables by populating the table. We can start by counting the total number of democratic countries in our data set. To do this, simply, we can use the filter on regime type and select one, which means a democratic country. Doing this will only allow us to see countries with a regime status of 1, which means that it is a democratic country. We can highlight the column now and simply count the number of 1s we have, which will be indicated at the bottom of the Excel. This figure is 94, so we put in 94 as the total number of democratic countries. Now we do the same for non-democratic countries. Go back to our tab, use the filter to check zero, which will only show us the number of countries which are non-democratic. Again, if we highlight all the zeros in that column, we will get the total number of non-democratic countries.
Again, we enter this figure in our total for non-democratic countries.